installment of the lipstick, liquid lipstick, lip gloss declutter. So I have some swatch here and I'm just going to get into them and show you what I have. And what do you think I'll keep? What do you think I'll get rid of? All that jazz. So up first I have the Essence Nude Love Long Lasting Lipstick. This shade is really pretty. It's a light pink shade but I think it's just really gorgeous and so I'm definitely keeping that one then I have the uh, essence perfect match matte 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 lipstick in the shade 02 and that one is more of a pink like it's like a rosy shade it's not mauve yet it's just still that rosy shade I think it's really pretty and it's a nice everyday color, as well as the next one, which is from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Love Nude, and it's just a very neutral nude. It's really pretty. I love that shade for everyday wear, so keeping that. And then I have the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in Peacemaker, and that one is right here. It's more of a brownie nude, which I love, and so I'll be keeping that. And I love the formula on this. And the fact that it's like a little mini, this was a uh, 100 point park from uh, Sephora. So I'm definitely keeping that one. I love that. And then the next one is kind of switching things up. This is a Simply Vamp lip cream in the shade Temptress. This is from NYX. Um, I never saw these, but I found it on sale at a store called Peebles. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but... Um, I wanted to try it and I think it's a very pretty deep shade. I just don't know how much wear I'll get out of it and so I'm going to put it aside for right now. Then next up we have one of these Juice Beauty Luminous Lip Crayons in Salinas and I really like this shade. It's like a reddish um, nude and I love that and it's moisturizing. It's really nice. It doesn't dry matte. It feels really nourishing on the lips and I just really love that. The next color down is a nude from LA Colors. This is one of their chunky lip pencils and this is in the shade Warm Caramel and that just describes it so perfectly. It's a nice warm caramel shade and it's very pretty and I really love that. Like I can throw this on and not worry about how my lips look during the day because I know that they're going to stay nice and nude and neutral and just very pretty. Next one down is a gloss that I got from either a Vegan Cuts or Petivore unboxing. Well, a box. I don't know why I keep saying unboxing. Um, this is a Marie Natty gloss in the shade Tickled, and that is right here. It's pretty pigmented for a gloss. As you can see, it, it has a lot of pigment that comes off, so I really like that. It's not sticky, and so I'm keeping that one. And then the last couple that I have are this Honest Beauty shine for nights lip uh, gloss and it's very pigmented too I just don't know if it moves around a lot or if it's sticky or any of that so I'm gonna keep it and try it for right now the next one down is an intense butter gloss from NYX in the shade spice cake and it's really pretty it's like a purple burgundy kind of shade so I really want to try that and see what I think. And then the last one down is a Butter Gloss from NYX in the shade Cherry Pie. And it's pretty pigmented, but it can also be really sheer. Um, those two from NYX that I have, I'm not too familiar with this formula. So I'm going to try them and see what I think. And then if I don't like them, those will also go in my Get Rid Of pile. So these are the four so far that I have to try and see if I like. So I'm going to swatch some more and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with some more swatches and I swatched some crooked. So there, I kind of straightened out my arm so you could see it, but let's start. Um, the first few, I have a Tarte Glamazon Pure Performance Lipstick in the shade Wild. That's what this one is. It's a brown red. I'm not sure that I love brown red not brown reds, a blue based red. I'm not sure that I love those on myself. So this is one I'm going to have to try on to see if I really like it. And then I can truly decide if I want to keep it or not. The next one down is from Juice Beauty. This is another luminous lip crayon. This one is in the shade Venice and it's so pretty. It's a nice, um, 
like rosy nude and something I could wear every day. So I'm definitely keeping that one as well as the next one, which is the Tarte Matte Lip Paint in Festival. This was their um, like Festival slash Unicorn collection. I just got that recently and I really love it. It looks so nice for everyday wear. And then the next one down is a little bit deeper, but it's a fun shade. So I definitely really want to try that on to see how I like it. That is the Intense Butter Gloss in Toasted Marshmallow. So I think it's a cool shade because it's like, um, it's somewhere between like a red and a purple. It's like right in the middle, like a burgundy color, but it's just fun and it can be wearable for every day, I think. Um, the next one down is so cool. This is a duochrome from Ofra. This is Emerald City. It has that green, brown, yellow kind of duochrome shift to it. So it's just really pretty, really fun. It's very different, but I like it. Um, you know, you have to be a little adventurous to wear it, but I wore it on a night out and I thought it looked really cool and strange and different. And it was just something like for a unique situation. It, it's not appropriate for everyday wear, obviously, but it's really cool if you can get out and just uh, wear it somewhere fun for a night out, a date night, something like that. So next I have two lips from ColourPop and that's pretty deep. So I don't know how much I'll wear that. Um, I think I'm actually going to pull that and put it in my maybe pile. Uh, I need to try it on and see if I like it on my lips. And the next one down is R&B from ColourPop, and it's really pretty. It's um, a deeper purple shade. I really like that. I think it's fun. And as well as the next one, Privacy Please, which just dries to this really pretty shade. These two here, I think, are just fun shades to wear out, so I'll be keeping both of those. Then the next one down is another blue-based red from ColourPop. This is Ribbons. This is part of the Hello Kitty collection. And it looks very pretty on there, but I need to try it on my lips to see how I feel about it on my skin uh, tone. The next one down is a deep plum purple, and that is the shade Bedazzled from ColourPop. Um, again, this is one that I'll have to pull and wear. So both of these I'll have to pull, wear, and see what I think of them once I have them on my lips and I can really see them with my whole look. And... Then I have this Panda, which is a pretty shade. I really like that one, so that one I'll be keeping. And then the last one, and that was from ColourPop also. The last one is from Kat Von D. This is in Ludwig, and this is a perfect shade. It's like brown, but it's light. It's kind of cool tone. It's kind of warm. It's somewhere in between. I just love this shade. This is so great, and this is the first Kat Von D liquid lip I've ever tried. Um, not disappointed at all. Definitely worth the hype. Definitely think I need to buy more of these. So that's kind of why I'm doing this declutter also is because I want to buy more of these, but I can't buy more consciously knowing that I had 250 lip products. Like that's just a lot. And if I don't use them, then why am I going to buy more? So now I have a reason to get more Kat Von D ones because I've decluttered some so far. So let me get rid of these swatches, get some new swatches, and I'll be right back. Oh, also, real quick before I go. Um, this It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in Je ne sais quoi. This is a clear balm this lipstick. Is, you put it on your skin and it turns to your perfect flush of pink. That's what this is, so I'll be keeping that because it's self-adjusts. So um, let me go swatch some more and I'll be right so back. So I have some regular lipsticks now because I can't get the stupid liquid lipstick swatches off my arm. So let's go through these. I have, I'm going to take a couple at a time. I have a pile over here. That's why I keep reaching over there. Um, so my very first one up top here is a blue based red. This is a Illamasqua lipstick in the shade Drench. I've had this for a while and I really love this shade. I need to try it on again, but I remember it being one of my favorite reds on me. So um, yeah, keeping that one. I have this Hydra Shine Essential Lip Color in Luella from Fiona Styles. And this is just a nice natural pink that you can get away with wearing to work, wearing every day. It's just really pretty. The next one down is from Pure 
and this is Spice Cake. Although I do love this shade, it was very dry when I put it on and swatched it, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Then I have another Fiona Styles lip color, and that is in the shade, this is a signature soft matte lip color in Umeo. It's a very pretty nude. I love this shade, and it's just... It's like a peachy nude, which I love, and it's so gorgeous. The next shade down is actually from Urban Decay. This is one of their uh, lipsticks before they redid the packaging. This is Sheer Beso, and it's a very pretty, like, deep, rosy, like a deep, rosy shade. Uh, the next one down is from Fiona Styles. This is one of her... Hydra Shine Essential Lip Colors in Normandine, and it's just a very pretty, like, nude, just nude. I love it. It's great, and it's especially nice in the summer when you just want to throw on something on your lips, but you don't want it to be, like, crazy too much. The next one, actually the next couple are from Urban Decay. This is Sheer Liar, and it's a really pretty pink. I love that, and the next one down is called Naked 2 and it's again another pretty this is more of a brown based nude just love that it's so great as you can tell I love nude lipsticks but just a great color the next two um, well one of them is from Buxom this is a big and sexy shade um, in this sultry mauve shade and that one is right here and it's just a sultry mauve um, so I love that, keeping that, and then the next one is the shade 1993 from Urban Decay, and this is a comfort matte, and it just, it goes on, it's very comfortable, but it's matte, it's a very deep shade, but so pretty. The next one the is, the next one here is a nude from Ulta, and that is in the shade 250, I don't see a color on here anywhere, but these are really pretty, they come in a gold packaging, and they're like essential nude line or something and I really love that so keeping that one then I have a pink which is rare in my collection this one right here is from I believe it's called red apple lipstick yep and it's in the shade twist and pout and it's a very pretty pink it's nice for every day too so I'm going to be keeping that one the next nude is also from Ulta and this is in the number 258 and it's different from the nude above. This is more of a pinky nude where this is more of a brown nude. So um, keeping that because I love that and it's very easy to wear. And then the next one is from Kat Von D. It's one of her studded, um, studded kiss lipsticks in the shade Lovecraft. So that one is right here and it's kind of a grayish mauve shade. Very pretty. Next one is pretty sheer and it's um, more pinky toned. That is from Essence, and it's in the Sheer and Shine lipstick. This is in the shade Cute Nude, and it looks really pretty. It just reminds me of those, like, old lip smackers or, like, lip glosses that you would wear in high school, and that kind of gives me that feeling. Uh, the next one is a very, like, gray-brown shade, and that is in the shade Underground from Gerard Cosmetics. It's very pretty. It's so different from anything else that I have, so I'm definitely keeping that one. And then the last one there is from Milani, and that is in Matte Naked, which is like almost like a mauve brown nude. So I love that, keeping that. It's great because Milani is so cheap, but these mattes are amazing. I really like them, and I'll continue to buy these. And I believe they have a vanilla scent to them. Yeah, it has like a not a strong scent like the other lipsticks they have smell like watermelon and I can't handle that but these just smell like vanilla and I love them and so I can't wait to get more of those probably in the future not like I need any but you know I'll probably buy some more all right guys so the next few that I have this first one is from Urban Decay it is one of their high gloss revolution lip glosses in the shade bittersweet this was a free little sample that I got from some sort of order that I did and I really like that so I'm gonna keep that because these don't even exist anymore I'm just gonna keep that and I'll probably wear that at some time I think it's cool to wear purple lip gloss because it's 
pigmented, but it's like just a wash of color at the same time. I have a Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Vivid Violet. This is another one that I'm going to have to try on and wear to see what I think because it's pretty, but I don't know how it'll look on me because I don't think I've ever worn it. Um, same with this. This is an Ulta Matte in the shade Mulberry, and it is a very pretty shade right here. Um, that and the next one are pretty similar, but I think I like this Ulta one better. Formula-wise, it seemed to go on smoother so I don't know if it'll be the same um, on the lips or not but this was matte love from Milani this one here and it is a little bit more red where this one was a little bit more of a purple tone so there is a little bit of a difference there but these are very close so I have to try those on to see what it look like on the lips and then um, I can get back to you on that now the next three that I have are from Tarte and they are these lip surgeons lip creams and I have it in the shades luscious which is that first one and it's pretty but it's sheer and I just don't think I'm really that into it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and then I have the shade glamorous which is the next one down and that one I really like I will be keeping that because I really like this shade and then the last one there is another blue-based nude, um, another blue-based red. Wow. And that is in the shade Pizzazz. So that one's right here. Again, I'm going to have to try it on to see what it looks like on my lips to see if it even, like, looks normal. And then I can let you guys know what I thought. Uh, the next one is from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the shade... So, I don't swear, like, ever, and this is weird for me because it's like, mm, I don't really want to say it just for the sake of the video. I put it on the screen if it's not clear from the sticker, but this Be Perfect uh, is what I like to call it. It's so pretty. I love the outside. I have to keep this, but also because it's a very pretty peachy nude, uh, and I just the next love that one down shape. is another pretty... Um, it's like a pink nude, and that is the shade Sugar Cane from Bite Beauty. It's the Amuse Bouche lipstick, and I really love the formula, so I'm keeping that one. The next one down is more of a brown tone, and that is a Pure Lip Lore Hydrating Lip Lacquer in the shade Graceful. I don't even know if they have these anymore, but it's a really pretty brown. It's not too deep. It's not too light colored. It's just really pretty. It doesn't wash me out. It doesn't isn't too heavy or anything. And then the last two were Kathleen Light's collaborations with ColourPop. The first one is Lumiere 2, which is this more of like a purple shade. And then the last one is Point Break, which is a brown. And this is a nice brown. It's like almost a gray brown. So it's not too deep, but it's not going to wash me out. I really like that. So I'm keeping both of those as well. So I think as far as today's video goes, I'm going to end this right here so I can put this together and this will be the third video in the installment and then I probably have enough for at least one more if not two more videos so look for those in the future I hope you guys are enjoying these and not getting bored of them but it's just really hard to try to figure out whether I want to put more parts to it or if I would just want to put one video that's like an hour and a half long which I don't think you guys want to sit through so I'll just put out a few different parts to it um, but I hope you guys enjoy these videos and leave me any comments below and I will talk to you guys soon bye